Hello again, Dave, coming at you from the Rad for Public Library. We are outside this time because for this second edition of Irresponsible Science, this one has the potential to get considerably more messy, but only if we're lucky. We're going to try and make exploding baggies. Sometimes they work, they don't always, but we're going to try. Um, I would absolutely say with this one, it's not necessarily dangerous, but definitely messy. So if you guys want to try this at home, you should definitely ask for your parents' help and maybe even their supervision if they're brave enough. What we're going to start with is a plastic sandwich bag. Very nice. Very good. I'm going to start with a one-third cup measure. Not a half a cup, not a quarter cup, not a whole cup, not two-thirds cup, one-third cup. At least that's what the recipe says. And then we're going to take white distilled vinegar. Ah, delicious. And we're gonna pour it into our one third cut measure. And then, ever so delicately, ah, ever so delicately, we're going to pour it into this plastic bag. And we're going to take our plastic bag, grab it in the middle, and twist it, and twist it, and twist it, and twist it, and hold it closed with a clothes pen. All right? Next, we're going to take our baking soda, and our tablespoon, not a spoon that you find lying on the table, but a tablespoon measure, and add one tablespoon. And a second tablespoon. Now, admittedly, I did leave out a step. We have some food coloring for this just to make it more fun, and I should have added that to the vinegar before I twisted the bag. But that's okay. That's why it's called experimenting. You don't always get it right on the first try. I'm gonna just put a few drops here in the the baking soda. And now I'm going to try my best to close the bag. If you have it, a Ziploc bag would probably be easier. About got it there. You want to try and make sure there's that it's totally closed so that there's no air escape. And I got one little pocket here that's being difficult. There, I thought I got it. All right, you ready, Eli? I guess. We're gonna take the, <laughs> the clothespin is what that's called. We're gonna take the clothespin off. And as you can see, it did blow up, but it didn't explode because there was likely one small hole still at the top. As I said, a Ziploc bag would be better. So we might try this one again in the future if I can get my hands on some Ziploc bags, but you get the general idea. Ziploc baggies, baking soda, white distilled vinegar, food coloring, one third cut measure, tablespoon, and a clothespin, that's all you need. And your parents' permission. Until next time, when I don't know what we're gonna do, because I haven't decided, it'll be awesome.